right, so friends, we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and I am about to go in that Titanic exhibit up there. I have been in it before. I'm actually going in for a different reason this time. I'm looking at the displays in it, the museum displays, to see how this museum is laid out and try to understand the look of the displays and, and kind of the flow of it. And there's a reason behind that that I can't reveal yet. But there you go. Just going in a museum to see how it's laid out as a museum. If you do like that, it makes it look like a real ship. So friends, I am headed to Gatlinburg. I was trying to go to the Titanic Museum, but they didn't allow photographs or video, which doesn't do me a lot of good. So I said, they said it was out of respect for the families, and I'm like, I don't see how that's being respectful to the families. I mean, you've got their stuff on display here for people to pay to see. So putting it on display or taking a photo of it or a video of it, I don't see much difference, but that's just me. So I decided to go on into Gatlinburg. Somebody asked me to do a video about the new swinging bridge that they have. They know I'm terrified of heights, so they wanted to see me go up on the swinging bridge. And you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I really, honestly, don't even know how to get up there, but I'm going to sure try to figure it out. But we're headed to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is a beautiful area. Yes, indeed it is. So a little trick, I'm going to do the bypass. You see all these people waiting in line to get into Gatlinburg. I'm going to bypass. And what this does is takes you to the backside and you can go from the backside back through and the traffic is not as bad coming from the other way usually so that's this is a way that you can actually get into Gatlinburg a little quicker and you remember there's another video of me on this road right here where we stopped at a bunch of people I stopped at an overlook and a bear crossed right beside us literally I got I got the bear you see that person in that Jeep didn't didn't wave so they are out of the club but a bear crossed right by us I was as close as here to that vehicle right there from the bear when he crossed and it was little but the people it's funny how many people and, and I'm including myself were not scared of that bear basically ran up to him or very close to him and I'd say that these people well, they're getting their picture made at that, at the sign right there, the Great Smoky Mountain sign. And I'm seeing people of other ethnicities here. Uh, those people looked to be Pakistani, Indian, something, which there's always been a joke that there's nothing whiter than taffy at Gatlinburg. But we're seeing a wide variety of ethnicities here now, which is awesome. Everybody should be welcome and everybody come to Gatlin, a burg. But this takes you to the backside. And I learned that when I was filming the other time up here. Boy, there's a lot of people here. This is November the 28th, 2020. Pandemics happened this year. But you can see that the weather's good. Man, the weather's real good. It's 64, as you can see right there. And so it's nice weather. Now, when I get up on that swinging bridge, which I'm not 100% sure how to get to that swinging bridge, but we're going to figure it out. But I don't want to wait in that line. Wow, that is a long line. At least I'm moving. And I may wait in the line when I get to the other end, but I might not. But if you were going to go to Ober Gatlinburg, let's say, 
this is the way to go. This puts you on the other side of the other end of town. Basically, there's one road that goes through town. And there's roads off of that road, but there's one main road. When you come in on this end, that's where Ober Gatlinburg is, the road that goes up to it. But also, the trolleys, if you were going to go to them, look at all those houses out there. The trolleys, if you were going to go to them, would be there as well, just past the road to the left that goes up. But I like to drive up there instead of taking that trolley. Now, if you're a daredevil, get on the trolley. But Man, that thing is a long ways off the ground. It's a thousand feet off the ground in some some spots, which is a little higher than I want to be. I think that is the part way over our head. Yeah. So I hope I'm doing right here. I, I remembering right. There's the. In fact, there's the Ober Gatlinburg lines to the trolley. You see them right there. I'm going to roll this window down. The trolley goes on those lines. It goes right down there. So I am doing right. But those lines that are right there, that is the trolley lines. I wish a trolley would come by while we were here so we could see it. And when I say it's on up there, I mean to tell you, that trolley is on up there, friends. You know I'm afraid of heights. But that is Gatlinburg, so we're ended up on the far side of it. Now I've got to figure out how to get up on that mountain. Mountain, mountain, mountain. You see that mountain over there? One of these days I'm gonna climb that mountain, mountain, mountain. So you take that bypass and you go right down here and turn back to your left and you're back in Gatlinburg, but you're on the far side, which is if you're trying to go to Ober Gatlinburg or downtown, the bypass is a lot of traffic, as long as you're lucky enough for there not to be crazy traffic this way. Now it says next right to Gatlinburg, so I think that you're gonna circle around and actually go under. on that road right there. So it's gonna circle you back around. So this right here, we just bypassed a ton of traffic. And you can see there's a pretty good line coming from the other way, but at least you're closer to things you wanna see instead of waiting for 50 minutes to get through the other way through all that, those hours of traffic. So if people are nice enough to let you out really helps and usually pe people are nice that come down to the old Gatlinburg not that many mean people in Gatlinburg not many I'm here so that's one some would argue that I'm plenty mean and I don't know what they mean by that <laughs> you see what I did there so if they're letting you in every other car, that's pretty nice. And it's not far down here, maybe a half a mile and you turn to your left to go to Ober Gatlinburg. You hear that turn signal saying, please go. Please go, 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 please go. Please go, please go, please go, please go, please go, please go, please go. Thank you, sir. Gatlinburg, friends. Larry Gatlin created this. A lot of people don't know that. And the Gatlin Brothers. They could have called it Gatlin Brothersburg. It's just a little harder to say. Just a little harder to say. Gatlin Brothersburg. The Audi Q8. Good enough for Gatlinburg. Good enough for you. <laughs> a lot of people do that. How many of y'all buy a brand new vehicle with the dealer tag on it? You know, with the 30-day tag like that and then take a trip? I bet a lot. The very first 
new car that I ever bought was a 88 Thunderbird Turbo Coupe in 1988. And I bought it and headed to Graceland. The very first time I ever went, bought a brand new car and drove there. Boy, I was in high cotton. And that's the time I jumped the fence. Brand new car. They sold my brand new car across the street where the gas station used to be and thought that I was over the fence and they were right. They came looking for me. Nowadays, I'd park over at the Days Inn and walk over and they'd never know. But now they have lasers and infrared cameras. They have freaking laser beams. So if you wanted to go to Ober Gatlinburg, where those vehicles are coming out right there, you can turn left right there and bypass the uh, light up there and go. That will take you all the way to the top of that mountain where the uh, you can actually ski up there. I have snow skied. The only times I've ever snow skied in my life up there. And uh, they've got toboggans up there. Not just for your head, they have them that for your butt too that you could ride. They've got that crazy, uh, it's kind of a, it's a roller coaster without any power. It basically just takes you up. It, like two people sit in, one in front of the other, that kind of thing. Seems really rickety to me. Uh, and it's kind of up in the side of a mountain. Um, hard to get up in there because there's so many people. I bet you today you probably couldn't even buy a ticket to get up in that part of it. But you can go up there. If you just want to look, they have an inside place with an ice skating ring and shops. And I like to go up there and get hot chocolate and just hang out. But that's the tower that I was talking about. You can see the tower out there. Kind of like in Seattle, just not quite as large. That's a, a miniature compared to the one in Seattle. But now we're in the backside of Gatlinburg. The other way that you could go is if you wanted to turn left right here. That'll take you the same way. That little side road just kind of does a little faster. But you can see this is the gateway to the Smoky Mountains, friends, and Gatlinburg, beautiful Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And they have the outdoor place right here that's uh, supposed to be some really good shopping, and they have some snowmen holding signs. Yes, indeed. This is my radio voice. And you can see where some of the houses burned up there that they're rebuilding them. A little thinner up there because there's not as many trees from the forest fires. They're working on it. A lot of devastation. I actually flew my drone. I don't think I ever put that footage out. I flew my drone. We were here just a week or two after that happened. And I don't see any of the Ober Gatlinburg shuttles running. Are they closed today? I hadn't seen one go. And look at those, that's a chairlift on the side of that mountain, look at that. And I get on that, not really thinking about how steep it is and crazy to get on. Oh, that's actually the bridge, okay. That's where I'm gonna be going. So there's that swinging bridge I'm talking about. I was thinking it was on my right, it's actually on my left. So I'm gonna go there. Yes, indeed, I am. So, yep, yeah, I want to go to that little area right over there. Go to that little area right over there. Walk out on that bridge. You know I can't wait because I love that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. We're going to go on a crazy swinging bridge. Yes, we are. So I may have saved a little bit of time, but you know what I didn't do? I didn't just sit for hours. This is a good place right here to get breakfast. They've been making breakfast here since 1875. Building doesn't look that old. There's people waiting to get in over Gatlinburg right there, but I haven't seen any trams leaving. I wonder if they're having trammel. That's trouble with the tram. That says since 1946. That building doesn't look that old either. I think they may be stretching this just a little bit. Old Howard. Gotta watch that Howard. He'll he'll stretch it a little. 
He will lead you straight up the primrose path. Yes, he will. We're just hanging out. These people are about to rob the place. A bunch of bandits. Frito banditos. Right, we're getting close to where you get the taffy, which is a must-do. Remember, you get a ticket if you don't buy taffy. The snowman. It's a little warm for him out here. Well, there's a lot of people down here. Like New York City. New York City? This dude's got a cool hat on. They're trying to get his picture, but look at all the people walking. Get me a hat like that. I don't know if you've ever been to Dick's Last Resort. They, they, your waiters and waitresses are mean to you. They insult you the whole time. So I missed the taffy. I'm not sure where I was supposed to go to. I'm, somehow I, I went by it. I'm going to park up here. It says Pay Park Easy Skybridge Parking. That's what I'm looking for. Easy Skybridge Parking. It says it's full. Great. There's the sky bridge right here. So Skylift Park takes you up there. Boy, look at that line. Boy, some tight parking around here. Look at this. I got a space here. I was very lucky. So that is the line to go to that, to go up there. But we gotta get in it. Oh. They want to place 10,000 pounds and they can spin it easily. From a distance, take in the view looked like it said take in the virus to me. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. It's the longest pedestrian bridge in North America, and there is glass in the middle. We'll have to walk out on that glass. And they're getting the people to look up at the mirrors. Getting a lot closer. Be up 
clear short one. They just had all of them look up at the mirror. I gotta make sure I don't lose my shoes. I didn't even think about locking those. It's a nice looking hotel swimming pool right next door. Look back. Everybody. That's quite a list or line of people. The guy behind me was doing some math. He was saying that this thing is earning right this moment about $5,000 an hour with the amount of people that are on here. And that's Christ Museum and Gardens. I didn't even know that was there. A lot of stuff you can see from the air. And you know I'm afraid of heights, friends, so I'm only doing this for you. And I've got my Crocs on. I don't want them to fall off. And those are examples of where houses burned during the forest fires. That's the foundation that's left. Lost a lot of homes. That's not parking, that's cars lined up, turning. Look at these lines. So I did not choose a great time to be here, but it is great weather. And there's a little bit of water movement down there, I like that. Those guys fly fishing. But I don't see any fish.
And it says if you ski keep your Skylift ticket, you get two dollars off at Price Museum and Gardens. So I may go in there next. I need to visit a museum. Skylift wedding starting at two ninety nine. Two ninety nine, four ninety nine, two ninety nine, four ninety nine, two ninety nine, four ninety nine. It's pretty steep. It's old Skylift cars sitting around. No, those are just like these. I think they haven't been updated yet. No, they're different. See, this has got the new cable, the new, the newest stuff. But we're all trusting our life to that cable. All of us. Hello. How y'all? Yes. Thank you. And it's a little bouncy. A little more bouncy than I want it to be. I'll set the camera on here so you can feel the motion. See the motion. And you see where they came here and chopped these trees and then just let them fall. Instead of cleaning it up and it looks like that everywhere down the sides here where you can see the bridge I guess they just chopped them all so let me let you ride right here and feel the motion of the seat when it was crossing one of the beams. Now how deep is that beam in the ground? That'd be my next question. It's like at light. They light that up at night. I bet it's beautiful. I'm not going to be able to be out here at night. When we get before we get to the top of that one I'll try to remember to turn around and look because people will be below me there it looks like they'll be above when you get up above that and I'm in car 41 I'd have got 42, what did you think about that? <laughs> Let's look back. So that's where the original one was here. And they put a new one up and see how it's skewed. So when they built this new bridge up here, they had to accommodate more people. This was here before. I've never been on this. But I don't think people that many people came up here until the bridge was up here. It looks like there's a speaker over there in the woods. Sure, what that is. Hey there, how y'all? Hi. <laughs> and they got this. You see, that's the old one was there. 
so the new ones were able to be further apart. There's a couple of them over there. I don't know if that's for tornadoes, but look how high up they are. We're on up here. See their building over there. New construction. That's where one burned from the top. Looks like they're getting ready to build it back. So I'm going to go up here and face my fear, walk across this bridge, get out on the glass. Yes, I am. over to that side. And there's some more houses. You can see the foundations that are left from the forest fire. There's one there. There's one right there. That's a shame. They're beautiful places up here and they just burn. And I guess some of them elected not to build them back. I'm sure that land's worth a gazillion dollars. And there's a camera coming up, and it's going to take a picture of me with my camera. Well, there's one of the over Gatlinburg trams I was talking about. It's giant. It holds 140 people. Got me. Stick my mask on when I disembark. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Go ahead. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. So you have to run away. Run, run, run away. So I'm trying to get on here for a gift shop. And this tells me what I need to do. So a lot of this stuff burned. I didn't even think about that. This is them recovering the flag. 278. So a lot of this, there's the flag. A lot of this got recovered. They got damaged, so they had to get new stuff. So that's another reason for this. And there is... Sorry, excuse me. There's the bridge. It's a real nice place up here. They have where you can come up here and get food. They have food at the snack bar here. 
Hey baby, I see y'all, some of y'all made it. Refreshments are on the other side. You see us three big tables. Now remember earlier we were on one cable that was smaller than this on the cars. <laughs> and boy it is really moving. Can you feel that? Woo. And they've got these outriggers to keep it from swinging side to side too much. It looks like they're building more stuff up there and over here. I'm trying to keep my mind off of it. <laughs> Holy moly. See how much this thing is swaying? Don't rush me. <laughs> Don't like this at all. I'm gonna have to walk over to the glass up here. Now when I was at the at the what did they call that thing? at the Grand Canyon. This is 150 feet down. That place was 4,000 feet. All right, I'm holding on. Look at 
This is me, I'm here, no doubt. Not sure, not sure. Oh, it's really rocky. <laughs> <laughs> More than I want it to be, wow. See, some people just love this. Look at that cable there swaying. It's jumping with the bridge twisting. I do. Uh, and look at this cable jumping. Woo. Boy, it is really twisting. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, let's zoom in on the, the tower. We can zoom from here. Well, this bridge is moving a lot. Trying to steady the camera. Well, when I say the bridge is moving, look at this. It is moving a bunch. Get off, I want me some hot chocolate. Yes, indeed I do. This thing really, really wobbles. Way more than I want it to. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Just, it is wiggle wobble like crazy. And you can come up here up till 10 o'clock at night. So you can come up here at night as well. What? 
How you do your foot? I don't know. I don't know. It seems like this glass is not yet the middle. It's more the one side, but after going to the other side and coming back, it is, and I'm doing this with no hands. I'm not holding on this to it. The board is still on. Oh. It goes against everything in my mind. secret if you don't want to climb these steps if you're on the second floor the back there's a little walkway come up the back it's a little less steps I'll show you that is that door there so if you're upstairs you can come out and come up the back way I will go down that way There's cars right there. So we didn't really have to take the train. Steps. You can come up here this way. There's still a few, but not nearly as many as coming the other way.
So I got me a corn dog and some hot chocolate. And I'm gonna let y'all sit here and This is the area where all the flag was captured. He's like, I'm bummed off. You see, they've got the bears over there in the cover. Yeah, they do. Now it's back to the next group. Great. Spooky ones. Spooky ones. Spooky ones. Spooky ones. Spooky ones. From here, the bridge that everybody has moved in the ball. There's a bear. There's a bear. Come on out. Thank you. All right, you get some good pictures? I did. I got some great. All right. My doctor took dirty pictures of my lungs. Yes, sir. I know yeah. it. You know. <laughs> I know uh -oh, it. Y'all yeah. talk, right? <laughs> Here we go. So just a beautiful area out here, friends. If you ever get a chance to come, you should. I'm probably going to have to voice this over because that music in the background. Y'all are going to get a picture. So it's a fun place to come to, friends, Gatlinburg. Yes, it is. Hey there, how y'all? Great. Hey, that bridge swings a lot, y'all be careful. That bridge swings a lot, so y'all be careful. What, y'all coming to my field? No! It's a swinging bridge, yeah. When the bridge swings too much, the chairs slow down. Yeah. You get them all fired up when they get up there. They'll have a good time. Right there. That bridge swings a lot, y'all be careful. 
<laughs> it's, it's, it just does that when the bridge swinging too much. That bridge swings a lot. It really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just be careful. That's a Christmas card we're making out there. And if you come here, you can go to the Christ Museum of Gardens for $2 off with an adult admission. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Look at all these cars. Luckily, this time of night, probably leaving is good. On Sundays, leaving would be a problem. We got Ripley's, believe it or not, right there. And you don't have to believe it, but it's right there. You can believe it or not. Helicopters. They do helicopter tours here. I've never been brave enough to do that. I see too many of them crash on the news. And you see there's a parking garage right there. Parked right across the street over there. It's 10 miles. But it looks like they're parking right there. equipment make sure you check it. I don't know what that means but okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yes sir, thank you. So I'm gonna make another spot for somebody when I leave. There's the great ghost. My trusty Steve waiting on me. TCB friends. Got my bird. south even though Gatlinburg's weather's nice right now. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy. Friends, thank you.